few things. But the response in itself is something that would interrogate, the response from the Attorney General, whether it actually speaks to the allegation that was made in court is one of the issues that we'll get to look at. But something, it appears that when uh, Mr. Japa um, started making the allegation, um, the, the judge intervened, asked him to sit down for a bit. He says, my lady, I'm a little bit uncomfortable. And then was asked, why are you uncomfortable? He says, I'm angry because how can he accuse me of, to be defending A1 when I'm here to fight for my liberty? And he's been impressing on me to cooperate with him so that he can put A1 in jail and I refuse. So he comes here to accuse me of defending A1. It is unacceptable. He goes on and on and says, if he dares me, I'll open the Pandora box here and I have evidence for that. Really, is it just a frustrated accused person in court making wild allegations or there's something actually in there? Well, whether there is something in there or not, you and I do not have the mystical powers or the divine capacity to be able to, to tell. We are unable to foretell. Um, again, the courts do not deal with met the metaphysical. <laughs> they deal with the physical because they do not have the capacity to deal with the metaphysical. So from the record of what happened in court, it appeared very clearly that this is a witness who got frustrated, who got angry, but the pronouncement that proceeded from his mouth in the course of his testimony, and as Justice Shramsai has said, the media gets it wrong when he says, oh, he said something without evidence. What he's doing in cross-examination is evidence. Mm. The weight of the evidence will be determined by the court itself. Now, when he says the things he says, and as Justice has mentioned, and as I tried to give the education yesterday on News 5, when he says the things he says, and they are not about any mere lawyer, but the Attorney General, who doubles as the Minister for Justice, whose office is a constitutional office to start with, and who exercises such wide powers, criminal prosecution is initiated at a suit. There will be no criminal prosecution in the Republic without the Attorney General, according to our Constitution. So our Constitution actually says all criminal and in fact, also all civil cases, for as long as they are against the Republic, they will be against the Attorney General. So that is the, the weight of the office. The Attorney General is on several committees and boards, very sensitive and serious ones. And the Attorney General represents you and I out of this country by virtue of his office on international uh, committees, uh, panels, and to countries in our name. So if such an allegation bordering on crime, as far as uh, sections 213, 212 and 213 of the Criminal and Other Offences Act are, cons are concerned. When, and again, the witness to must be presently aware that if what he's saying is lying on oath, then he could also be caught by Section 210 mm -hmm. about perjury, yeah. which is lying on oath, which is a second degree felony which means he could be looking up to 10 years in jail. So he may be frustrated, but to say the things he says and considering the consequences of the things he says, I would think 
that they are serious enough warranting the attention of the right institutions for what has to be done. Thank you.